And JC, a warm summer night out there, and I even noticed some lightning tonight. There is some lightning off into the distance, but that's actually outside of our viewing area at this point. So not seeing a whole lot of activity on the sky cams. We do have quiet conditions here at home, but again, off into the distance, you may see a bolt of lightning or two. Those are off to our north, so through some of our northern counties, uh, actually just to the north of Jefferson County is where you'll find some of those thunderstorms. For us, though, we're quiet and we're warm. Temperatures right now still well into the 70s, the upper 70s for a lot of us. We do have 78 in Harrisburg, 78 in Dixon Springs, Cape Girardeau and Paducah, 76 in Carbondale, 73 in Mount Vernon. So a very summer like evening out there tonight. That summer weather is going to be sticking around throughout the weekend. We will see a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms as we head into your Saturday, but a better rain chance is set to arrive Sunday and into Monday. That's going to be thanks to a slow moving cold front. Once that moves in, we'll not only see that rain chance, but we'll finally start to see some fall like temperatures by the time we get to next week. So there's a lot going on. This is a wide look of the satellite and radar. So as you can see, our viewing area not seeing much activity, but just off to our north and east, there's some of those showers and thunderstorms popping up. That's where you'll see that lightning off into the distance, but we're expected to stay quiet through the rest of the night tonight. We are going to see that chance for showers hours and thunderstorms so throughout the day on Saturday. Now that best chance is going to be across parts of southeastern Missouri. These are actually a little bit more widespread than what was showing up earlier. So again, if you have outdoor events, it's kind of just something to keep an eye on. We could see spotty activity uh, off into those northern counties as well. But you'll notice Saturday a little bit more spotty, not an all day event. By the time we get to Sunday, it's quite a bit more widespread. We will see widespread showers and thunderstorms starting to work their way in throughout the day on Sunday. It won't be a washout. We will see breaks in that rainfall, but a lot more of us will see that rain and the off and on rain chances are going to continue as we head into the evening as well. When it comes to temperatures, it stays warm both days. So Saturday, we're still talking 90 degrees, even with that cold front starting to work its way in Sunday. We're still going to be topping out in the upper 80s. Keep that storm track three up around. Of course, you can track that rainfall right there in the palm of your hand. The rainfall projection has trended up from yesterday, which is actually good news because we really need that rainfall through those northern counties. We could see an inch to an inch and a half. Unfortunately, down into western Kentucky and northwest Tennessee, only about a half an inch expected. So that amount drops off further south. Temperature wise, though, it's really going to be pretty nice next week. By Monday, we're down into the low 80s. And then by the time we get to Tuesday and to Wednesday next week, we are going to see that push of cooler and drier air. So not only does do the temperatures drop, but that humidity drops as well. That sounds mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Does especially in the mornings. It looks like you know you might even need a sweater or light yeah. jacket out there. So yeah. changes are on the way. They are. All right. Thanks, JC.